On behalf of Melvin Jones's family, I'd like to welcome each of you here today and thank you for gathering as we celebrate Mel's life. So a scripture I'd like to share with you today for Mel's service comes from John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. These were the words that Jesus spoke to his disciples the night before he was going to be crucified. And I believe these are the words he would speak to us today. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house is... And so as I think about this scripture... In Mel's life, I picture what is the house that God has created for Mel. And one of the memories that I have of him is he loved to wrestle with his boys on the living room floor. He would have a big grin on his face and he'd be grabbing each one of them, pulling them into a pile. And he loved to be in the midst of that pile of wrestling. And that was one way that he showed his love with a grin on his face and joy in his heart and wrestling in the living room. And I bet the house that God's prepared for Mel has a living room in it where he can wrestle with his brother and those who've gone before him. Uh, my dad was uh, a ball of energy uh, all throughout life. He never sits, sat still. And uh, that's the one thing I, I remember vividly is whenever he got home from work, uh, when I was a kid, uh, uh, boy, there was no sitting down, and, and he was busy with something with the house or, or with us kids or outside uh, getting something done. Uh, but as a dad, he was wonderful, and uh, I really enjoyed uh, the father that he was. Uh, my dad taught by example, and, uh, and, and that's how I learned from him, and uh, I'll never forget those times. But the... Uh, what I just would love to be able to tell him is thank you for being the father that you were. When I talk about dad being competitive, I also think about how he always just wanted a good challenge. Um, you know, he loved to play tennis with us boys. He loved to play golf with us. He loved to throw the football and he loved to play basketball. And I think also, uh, you know, his, his roots of uh, being a track person when he was in high school and a uh, basketball player, I think vicariously, you know, when we got into those kind of sports, he definitely could see a part of him out there playing that sport. Uh, but I think my favorite memory of Mel Jones was when uh, Michael and I were down in college in Champaign and Mel came to pick us up after the last classes on Friday, before spring break, went down to Florida, went down to Disney World. I got to go with them down to Disney World. And we just had a great, great time. Uh, drove all the way through, no stopping, uh, except, of course, uh, for gas when we had to stop. And the requirements were, you know, coffee, pie, and ice cream. And, and his young, uh, at the time, his young... Uh, sons, they're old men now, the young sons um, would just take after his dad. I mean, had to stop for coffee, had to stop for pie. Great man. He was, he was loved. He uh, just embraced life. And oh God, you have created all that we see. You are the giver and sustainer of life. And we thank you, Lord, that because of your resurrection, we know there is life after this life. And we pray, Lord, that you would hold each one of us in your hands until that day we're called into your presence. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs>